Sinking of Rusei Maru, February 25th, 1944. Sinking of Rusei Maru, Part 1. Brakar. In 1910, Rusei Maru's keel was laid down at Willington, England. On February 14, 1911, Rusei Maru was launched. The ship had a length of 117 meters. In March of 1911, the ship was commissioned. Rusei Maru began her career serving as a cargo ship with the Fred Olsen and Company under the name Brakar. Sinking of Rusei Maru, Part 2, Havo and Mabuhe 2. In 1916, Brakar was acquired by the Henrik Ostervold Company. The ship was renamed Havo. During her time operating as Havo, nothing much eventful happened. In 1935, the 24-year-old Havo was acquired by the Far Eastern Steamship Company. The ship was renamed Mabuhei II. Sinking of Rusei Maru, Part 3, of Rusei Maru. In 1938, Mabuhei II was acquired by the Japanese company Matsumoto Masaichi. The ship was renamed Rusei Maru. In November of 1943, during the Second World War, Rusei Maru was requisitioned by the Imperial Japanese Army. The ship was to assist with the transportation of prisoners of war to the sites of their railway constructions. Living conditions on board Rusei Maru during this time were unbearable. For this reason, the Allies referred to ships like Rusei Maru as hell ships. Sinking of Rusei Maru, Part 4. Final Voyage. On February 24, 1944, at approximately 3.20 p.m., Rusei Maru departed Surabaya, Java, bound for Amban, Maluku. On board Rusei Maru, during this voyage, were approximately 1,245 Japanese troops and approximately 5,425 prisoners of war. Rusei Maru performed this voyage in a convoy with four other ships.
The four other ships included two minesweepers, one submarine chaser, and the hell ship Tango Maru. Later that day, Allied naval intelligence, who were aware of that convoy, sent coded messages to the American submarines USS Rasher and USS Rattan. The two submarines were ordered to patrol the Bali Sea and sink the convoy that would be in the region the next day during the evening. However, the Allies were not aware that Rusei Maru and Tango Maru were transporting prisoners of war. On February 25, 1944, at 7.43 p.m., Rasher got a good fix of Tango Maru and fired four torpedoes towards the ship. Three torpedoes struck Tango Maru, sending her and 3,000 prisoners on board to the bottom of the Bali Sea within minutes. After sinking Tango Maru, Rasher and Raton began pursuing Rusei Maru, who was attempting to steam away from the submarines. Rusei Maru know that despite her attempts to get away from the submarines, she would soon be at the bottom of the Bali Sea. Sinking of Rusei Maru, Part 5, End of Rusei Maru. On February 25, 1944, at 10.25 p.m., after over two hours and a half of pursuing the ship, Rasher got a good fix of Rusei Maru and fired another four torpedoes. Three of the four torpedoes struck the ship. Rusei Maru broke into two pieces and sank within six minutes. Nearly 5,000 prisoners and troops were lost. The sinking of Rusei Maru remains the eighth greatest loss of life at sea on board a single ship. Rest in peace to all those who lost their lives 80 years ago during the sinking of Rusei Maru on February 25, 1944. May they never be forgotten. <laughs>